Okay, I'm trying this one more time with the hopes of getting it right. Got from my back from my oncologist a little while ago. Um, now, with throat cancers, they stage them differently than they well, a little differently anyway than they do um, cancers through the rest of the body. My understanding of it anyway. I could be wrong. Okay, um, the stage four in throat cancer is broken up into 4A and 4B. 4A is treatable. 4B is basically just treatable by palliative care, basically meaning making as comfortable as they can uh, until you die. Um, 4A, they look at as being treatable. Um, diagnosed with 4A, which my gut feeling after everything I've read on the internet, doctors I've spoken to, is where I knew I was at, but nobody really wanted to say. They may even feel it's worse, I don't know. Um, but, um, so, so the oncologist, radiologist a little while ago, and um, setting things up, getting them moving. One thing I do wanna just discuss first, um, which pushes me, if I am 4A into the more hopeful percentage, I was going into this at 50-50, um, but, um, human papillomavirus um, with people who have throat cancer they find to tend I don't know if it's caused by or if it's coincidental I think it is caused by and that is part of the studies um, but people who have test positive for the, papill the human papilloma 16 um, have a higher percentage of surviving throat cancer than people who don't have it. Um, and that's whether they smoke or not. So smoking, my under, this is all my understanding, doesn't mean I'm right, I should put my hat back on. Um, it doesn't mean I'm right, it means this is my understanding, okay? Um, but she tends to feel um, more towards the 75, 80% of surviving than the 50-50, which made me feel pretty good. Um, but with that being said, it's this egg over here, which is stretching, which I felt was moving into my head and down into my back, just when I trace things and how I feel them. She put my mind at ease with that. So it's not going down my back from what she didn't feel was going down my back or into my head. So little things I do to myself, yes. Um, but anyway. Um, the PET scan I have it will be scheduled for either this coming Monday or the following Monday. So that would be either the um, either the eighth, right? No, it would be either the ninth or the sixteenth. Okay. Um, so, um, but so they will be, and that's basically because I have that. That, that that's the lymph node. I've got the tongue going on. I have the soft palate going on, the tonsil going on. Actually, the, the, there's a couple of nodes that she showed me going on on both sides of the neck. Um, a couple on this side and on this side as well. Um, and it, 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 it's there. Um, but she feels that the radiation and chemo can zap it. So I will have the feeding tube. Um, I will have um, the port for the chemo. On the plus side, I don't have to stop drinking. The tube in a funnel, I can do funnels in my belly. I have to have a little fun with this. It's what gets me by. Um, and I really do apologize for people I do offend. Um, <laughs> but I didn't want to start doing vodka animus. <laughs> oh man. Um, I know I'm not right. I'm sorry. I've never done one and I have no plans of starting. <laughs> um, anyway, you know, the only blessing from all of this is I'm getting the chance to let the people I know how much they care, how much I care about them, how much I love them. Um, and not something that I was ever hesitant to do. But it's something that I am starting to go out of my way to do um, to make sure that 
You you know how I feel. I don't think there there, there are very few people in this world that I truly hate. Um, I don't know if there's anybody that I truly hate. Um, I try to forgive and, I, and any personal wrongs that have ever been done to me. Whether you want forgiveness or not, you have it, okay? Um, and I apologize for the people that I have hurt more than anything. Um, that destroys me more than, than the people hurting people bothers me a hell of a lot more than being hurt by someone. Um, but I'm just starting to go watery now because I'm just thinking about all of the people in Vegas who were dead, who did not get that chance. Um, you know what? People try to forgive. It's a good feeling. It gives you peace. <laughs> um, and I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking to others. It's, um, unless they've truly, truly hurt you. I, and I know even that it's, um, I've done it and I've had it done to me. But you know what? I have been forgiven and I forgive. Anyway, um, don't know. That's probably the best thing that came out of cancer, whether I live or not. I would hate to have died and not let pe people know, certain people know certain things. Diane, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Um, peace.